people like me have been pushing for a long time from the theory side, saying there's no reason to believe that black holes can form in only one way, which is stellar remnants, that there ought to be multiple pathways. While uh, uh, since I had a bit of a stake in that discovery, my favorite discovery is that of these galaxies that are hosting uh, supermassive black holes already in place when the universe was about 450 million years or so. And in particular, this one galaxy called UHZ1. And uh, that it's just been astounding, uh, entirely uh, unexpected sort of, uh, well, would have liked to have seen something like this, but I never realized that the universe might actually hand it to us, gift us so quickly. So it's a supermassive black hole that is so uh, in place so early on in the universe and the host galaxy, we were able to measure some very key properties for that growing black hole and the host galaxy that uh, really sort of confirm and provide very compelling evidence to the idea that you can make black hole seeds multiple ways and that this particular source likely came from a heavy seed that formed from direct collapse of gas in the very early universe. I've seen a lot of this sort of fanfare and uh, let me say very clearly <laughs> that the standard model has not blown up. <laughs> there is no evidence that suggests that we have to look at an alternative to the Big Bang or the Lambda cosmology, uh, Lambda CDM model at the moment. So it's not that the laws are operating, the laws are operating as they are. The efficiency of the processes is different.